Okay, follow me here. When then-Senator John Kerry was chosen as Secretary of State, the good voters of Massachusetts elected Congressman Ed Markey to fill his former seat. And now in the race to replace Ed Markey, uh, one of those running is Carl Shortino, an openly gay Democrat. Shortino's running an ad that features his own father, who is more of a uh, Tea Party type. Take a look. He wants to go to Congress to take on the NRA in a Tea Party. I won't give up on an assault weapons ban. Or universal background checks, or banning high capacity magazines. There are some things you don't stop fighting for. Also the right to choose, equal pay for women, and equal rights for, well, everybody. You've been like this for 35 years. It's why I approve this message. And I still love you, Dad. Me too, son. Carl, Carl Shortino Sr. there at the end, and I want to bring in the candidate himself, Carl Shortino Jr. Carl, welcome. Uh, why'd you put your dad in the act? Thank you, Brooke. Well, my dad and I have been bantering like this for 35 years, and, you know, I've talked a lot about his influence on my life and how he raised my brother and me as a single dad and worked hard to take care of us, and despite our strong political differences, he loves me and supports me, and we can get along. And, you know, I think it shows I'm a clear, strong progressive in this race. I'm going to fight for progressive values, but I can still get along with people on the other side of the aisle, people that I disagree with, and frankly, still have a positive relationship with people like my dad. Let's talk about that household, Carl, growing up. I mean, your dad, as he says, is Tea Party Republican, totally different views, right, than you and on almost anything, I would imagine. So at what point did you decide to join, uh, maybe in your father's eyes, the enemy? <laughs> I actually remember being in college when I came home from, from college and talked about some of my views and politics and how they were evolving and becoming a very staunch progressive in my, my younger days. And uh, my father and I would just fight, especially around the 2000 election with George Bush. And I kept saying, Dad, this is going to be bad. You don't know where this country is going. It's going to be bad. And he would say, Son, listen to me. Listen to me. George Bush is the man. And we had these fun bickers. And as I got into public office, he said, I don't, know what you're doing. I don't know if you know what you're doing, but I disagree with you on a lot of things, but good luck to you. Hmm. Um, let me ask you this. Before you came out to your, your father, what were his views uh, on same-sex marriage, and, and has that evolved at all? Well, I came out to my dad as gay when I was 17, and he was really remarkable, very supportive, very loving. You know, he was actually driving when I told him, and he gripped the steering wheel very tight. His knuckles went a little white, and he said, you know I love you. You're still my son. This doesn't change anything, and that meant a lot to me. Um, I knew we had a really close relationship growing up, and I was worried to tell him, but, you know, he, he handled it like a trooper. Mm -hmm. I'm actually getting married just 10 days before the election. That was planned before the special election date was set, and oh, he'll wow. be at the wedding and supports me in, in that as well. He's really a wonderful dad. That's great. Um, so with, with, I imagine, though, a few exceptions, you know, you're on one side, he's on the other. That is such a, a microcosm of the country. Which, which areas do you two see eye to eye, Carl? Well, recently in my congressional race, I came out, first of all, the candidates in opposition to a military strike in Syria. I was strongly opposed to that. The other candidates took a week or so to come around to that position as well, but I called my father and mentioned it to him, and he said, well, finally we agree on something, uh -huh. because he and I see eye to eye on that. I have had a lot of friends and family, including my own brother, served in Afghanistan. You know, my experience was that it was a mistake, the two wars we've been in the last 10 years, how they've been handled, and I found something I found common ground with on my dad on that particular issue. Uh, but, you know, he knows I fight for progressive values, and we get to banter about it all the time. Um, um, and if you see in the ad, you know, that's actually how we interact. We get along very well. We tease each other a lot uh, while we disagree on things. I'm sure dinner time at your house is, uh, is fun. Carl Shortino, Jr., thank you very <laughs> much. Good luck to you. Appreciate it.